Every week, some two dozen guns are confiscated by police officers from the streets of New Orleans, one of the deadliest cities in America. You know, New Orleans Police Department, that's what we do on an everyday basis. But it's not just police or criminals wanting to get their hands on these guns. Before it goes on. Artists are taking guns slated to be destroyed and transforming them into works of art. Sadani Villery soaked five gun cylinders in chemicals. I'm hoping when people see the piece, they, they see that there's some kind of breakdown. And I think that when you see rust and corrosion, you do kind of get that. At another studio, artist John Barnes carved the word castle in his sculpture, the piece taking a shot at vigilantism and stand your ground laws. It's the exact same mindset of, of the uh, street thug who's shooting, looking for an opportunity. In all, more than 30 artists from across the country are contributing to the new exhibit opening October 4th. Gallery owner Jonathan Ferrara says it's not an anti-gun exhibit. The works are meant to provoke dialogue. He organized the first Guns in the Hands of Artists show in the 1990s. And unfortunately, 18 years later, we're in the same place, if not worse, with killings in Columbine, Sandy Hook, and Central City. So it's, it's an issue that, that affects all of us in New Orleans, but pick someplace. And unfortunately, it's an American epidemic. As police try to get more guns off the streets, the artist has painted their portraits kind of in memoriam. The artists the are taking the aim at the issue in their own way. Stacy Plaisance, Associated Press, New Orleans.